So the other day I attempted to purchase BTS tickets <laughs> and if you're ARMY and you also attempted to purchase BTS tickets, you may know, you probably know, you definitely know that that entire process was an absolute shit show. Ticketmaster was glitching like every five seconds. You would have the tickets, they would be in your cart, you'd be so excited, and then all of a sudden it would give you some kind of error message or the screen would just go black. It was just, it was crazy. Were they hacked? I don't know what happened, but I actually recorded part of me attempting to purchase them, so let's just jump to that clip real quick. Maybe. Oh. Oh my god, what? It was 20 seconds. All right, let's try to go further back. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, how can they do such a thing? That is so mean. Give me these seats. Like, what the hell? Here we go again. It's gonna give them to me and it's gonna fake give them to me. What? what? Alright, I'm gonna just try to get something like way out here. Okay, let's see. It's gonna mess with me again. Is it gonna actually give them to me? Yes! Okay. Yeah, it was it was tragic, but you know what? At the end of the day, I'm very grateful that I was able to secure a seat even if it is literally at the very, 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 very top of the stadium. I'm not gonna complain. However, I did have a ticket to their last concert, which was canceled, and it was a front row center ticket. I have it saved in my phone for the memories. There it is. Never used, never will be used. So here I am on StubHub looking at resale options for a better seat. These sell for thousands of dollars and that sounds like something that a financially irresponsible person would purchase. <laughs> Which you guys know, that's not me. That is definitely not me. So we're just, we're just browsing. We're just browsing, we're just checking the market to, you know, see, hypothetically, if I wanted to purchase a resale ticket, how much would I have to spend? Let's take a look, shall we? Section A2, row 35. One ticket, $5,950. Wow, okay, let's check another section. Maybe that one, maybe, maybe that person's just a little unhinged. Floor, section B3, row 19. One ticket, $7,999. Section B2, row 25. One ticket, $10,222. I really like how they added the $22 because $10,200 was not enough, clearly. Some people have been requesting more kitty time, so here we go. Here's Bookie. Hmm, baby. <gasps> Oh, the sweet baby. Yes, the sweet baby. There's Rainy. So pretty. Oh. <laughs> I finally got my crystals. Wow, look how sparkly. These are such nice quality. And I know you guys are probably so sick of hearing me talk about nail stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be the last video that I intensely talk about my nail shit, okay, I swear. But look at my latest swatches. Is this satisfying or is this satisfying? Just look how many I've completed. There's so many. This is probably about 20 hours of work. So for today's big plans, I am essentially transforming my little nail area into my nail salon. Klaus Claws is open for business starting tonight. Side note, I saw some of you guys dragging me for how I pronounce Claws. 
And I had to sit there and play it back. And I'm like, do I have like a Midwestern accent? Did the Midwestern accent just jump the fuck out? I, am I like over here saying Klaus Claws? Klaus Claws. I'm like lols, lols with a C on it. Claws. Maybe it just sounded weird because I was saying it with Kalel, which is kind of a tongue twister. Kalel's claws. I personally don't hear me having an accent, but I guess nobody really registers their own accent as an accent because it's just what they're used to. Anyway, Kalel's claws. <laughs> Kalel's claws is coming to life today. I think it's gonna turn out pretty amazing because I have all of these great supplies. I got these cute little organizers from Amazon, more organizers, and I even got some wall shelves to hang. But real quick, before we get started, just a quick thank you to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is the ultimate online learning community where you can expand your knowledge on all sorts of different topics. There's courses on photography, graphic design, film, music, animation. Guess what else they have a course on guys? Nail art. <laughs> I recently started Imarni's course called Nail Art, Colorful Creative Designs to Paint and Share. And the course covers all of the basics, but also some more advanced designs like fades, old English lettering, and even flames. So as you can see here, I am watching her course and carefully following her tips on how to paint flames. And I think I did a pretty damn good job. So if any of you would be interested in taking Amarni's course or any of the other courses available on Skillshare, they are currently offering my viewers a free one month trial to the first 1000 people who click the link in my description. All right, I got everything cleared out so we can start fresh. So obviously the foundation of every good nail station is simply a desk, a chair, a supply cart, and a good light. I found this light on Amazon and I thought it would just be perfect because it just kind of attaches to the edge of the table and it's long and it's wide and you can move it in any direction. You can move it up, you can move it down, you can move it over, you can change the temperature. Then these little acrylic drawers I also found at Amazon. I showed you guys earlier. I thought these would be absolutely perfect for my little tubs of gel polish because they're the exact size to fit in here. And a ton of different stuff is gonna go on the supply cart and I can't just throw it all in there. So I'm going to use these little organizers to separate everything out. So I'm just going to kind of mess around and figure out, you know, what kind of order I want to put them in here. Trying to figure out the perfect heights. I think that looks good. Ta-da! And so now all that's left to do is to put everything in here. The fun part, even though I have a feeling it's gonna take me literally all night. I'm definitely gonna put these up here in some kind of specific order. I can't decide do I wanna do it by color or do I wanna do it by product number? So I ended up organizing them by formula and then also number and I've decided to just kind of stagger them back. And now I've put them all there and I get to the end and there's just a little bit of extra space. <sighs> Which means I have to shift them all down. <laughs> I really am gonna be here all night. Twenty minutes later and I'd say this arrangement is looking pretty clean. Oh, it's gonna be a long one. Might as well have a Baja Blast. <laughs> How satisfying is this? Although I have to say, you can see all of my fingerprints from when I swatched these and I'm fighting the urge to wipe them all down. <laughs> I love creating work for myself. What is wrong with me? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's so satisfying. Yeah. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is the very definition of organization porn. 
Like, do you see how perfectly these fit in there? <gasps> Currently, I just have these sorted by brand. So there's leaf gel, lily gel, myth Mellow, glitter. And then this last one is going to be for embellishments. Wow, these are so gorgeous. I am so happy I returned all the ones I bought from Amazon and bought these because these are... I've never seen crystals that are this glitzy. Oh, look at all my beautiful little babies. So pretty. Now we have the charms, which might be my favorite nail thing ever. I mean, look at these. Little crystal cat heads. Are you kidding? Little crystal bears holding crystal hearts. Yeah. This next drawer is small acrylic embellishments. So we have some flowers, some bows, some hearts. Just really cute stuff. This drawer contains lots of different glitters, sequins, some gold leaf, and last but not least, this drawer contains various little metal pieces, like some caviar beads, some little charms of like flowers and butterflies and stars. So just a quick overview, we have crystals, then we have charms, then we have acrylic embellishments, Glitter, sequins, foils, and little metal details. Okay, progress. Yes, we are getting somewhere. So the only thing left to do for my desk is my little brush holder. Final thing for the desk, of course, my gorgeous little lamp. Phase one of Operation at Home Nail Salon complete. I'm feeling good. It's been about three hours, but that's fine. <laughs> In this first row, we have some lint-free wipes, some cotton balls, and also these very nifty clips for soaking. So you just put a little bit of the remover on a cotton ball and then instead of using foil just clamp this little clip i got these on amazon and they actually work really well in this row i have all of my base coats top coats just look how pretty i love this packaging on the lily gel and then this is for extensions. So if you accidentally break a nail and you need to build it up with gel, you just put this little form on and then use this to kind of build up around the nail. I actually have a broken nail right now, this edge, that I'm thinking about experimenting with making an extension. I know you guys thought I was joking when I said I'm making my own nail salon, but bitch, I even got things to do nail extensions. Can you believe it? This is like, I'm, <laughs> am I going too far? <laughs> In this row, we have some hand sanitizer and some... My label maker is definitely being put to great use lately. <laughs> then also some cuticle remover and some cuticle oil. And in this last section, I have just some little extra goodies like scrub and lotion, cream, foot cream. My clients are going to love me so much. And by my clients, I mean me, my mom, my grandma. <laughs> So in this big container right here in the second row is going to be all of my tools. So we have lots of files and a little buffing block, a few different clippers, a tool for picking up and moving around crystals, some tweezers, cuticle pusher, tool for mixing custom colors, dotting tool, some sticks for removing gel, a little UV pin for quick curing, 
and this adorable little rose duster brush that I found on Amazon that I just cannot get over because it's so cute. You know, when you want to clean up your nails and do a little quick dusting action. <gasps> it's so pretty. I love it. In this container, I have little, um, I'm not sure what you would call these. They're like shimmer powders. They basically put an iridescent finish on the nail. So I have a few of those. I also have some in pin form. And in this container, I'm going to put my film. So I have some floral film, also this holographic one that I got as a little freebie. In this container, we have some little fine detail tape. Then for the last container, I have some stickers, some line details. Look at these pretty butterflies. Yeah, just like some little lines. Also, these ones are quite cool and intricate. Okay, so that's row two. And for the bottom row, I have some bigger items like my drill. This is just a drill that I found on Amazon that I actually think is quite nice. Like it has a digital screen, which is pretty cool. Also some fancy drill bits. Then I have these soft tip extensions from, from the nail that I cannot wait to experiment with. So basically these are a way of making your nail longer without you know having to do acrylics or gel extensions these just attach with gel i can't wait to try some specialty top coats fixers mixers that kind of thing lots of swatch sticks a little gooseneck light, which is essential for curing the soft tip extensions. And just this little random container that I like to pull up to put my trash in. And my gorgeous little cart is complete. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, so just some finishing touches. I have this steel plate that I use for cleaning my brushes and like putting polish on and such so i'm putting that there i also got this little sumiko garashi chopstick holder which i thought would be perfect to actually use as a brush holder <laughs> then last but not least i have these very random little mice magnets that my dad gave me <laughs> that i'm gonna put on my light Ah, uh, everything is so perfect and cute and I'm so excited to sit down and do my very first manicure at my Kalel's Claws salon. <laughs> I'm in desperate need of a manicure too, but you know what? I think I, I gotta call it a night. I'm exhausted, you guys. This took me like six hours. <gasps> so in the next video, we will do a manicure. So I'm just finishing up the details on something for my new channel, which is coming very, very, very soon. Less than a week, very soon. Hopefully, as long as nothing goes wrong. I have a great talent for finding excuses not to do shit. So <laughs> no, I, I think it's happening, but I have to say I'm a little nervous. I just don't really see it doing well, but I just want to do it anyway because I think it's going to be something fun for me. It's going to be fresh. It's going to be... I think it's just going to motivate me to just do more. Just put out more content, which is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, but I felt kind of lost because I don't really... There's only so many vlogs I can post, right? Because you guys can probably only stand watching me do the same things over and over again so many times putting on makeup i'm buying things i don't need i'm eating i'm watching korean dramas repeat 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 <laughs> so i really just wanted to make another channel where i can focus on a topic that's not me because i feel if there's a topic that's not me i can post way more often so it's kind of just an experiment to see what that would feel like but there's this voice in the back of my head that's like no one's gonna watch this shit what are you thinking no one's gonna watch this and that voice might be right but i won't know if that voice is right or wrong until i try so all i gotta say is 
set the expectation very low you guys because these videos are going to be simple they might be boring i don't know but i'm just doing it to do it